All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the next section here. We are going to evaluate. So you guys evaluate every day all the time uh, with likes and dislikes and uh, crazy emojis, happy emojis, whatever. Uh, we're gonna evaluate some expressions. So the same thing uh, that, you, <laughs> that we do all the time, but we're gonna do it with expressions. Let's get this ball rolling. So what does evaluate mean? So fill this in real quick. If you evaluate an expression, it just means you're gonna find the value of that expression. So we're actually just gonna, I like to call this plug and chug. You just plug a number in, chug along until you get the answer. Let's do some. So let's check this first one out here. So if I have the expression 2x minus five, I'm gonna say x is two. So all we're gonna do is say, hey, wherever there's an x, I'm gonna plug that two in. I'm gonna evaluate when x is two. So x is a variable, could be any number in the world. Could be two, could be 200, could be 20, could be 37.5. I don't know what it is until I tell you, boom, here it is. I'm gonna say I wanna know what happens when x is two. So plug that in for x, so wherever there's an x, replace it. Since this means times, I'm gonna put in little parentheses there. And I'm gonna say two times two minus five. Then just follow your order of operations. I gotta multiply first, so two times two is four minus the five. And then what is four minus five? That is a negative one. So see how I evaluate all the way down to a number? Uh, that's when I'm done. So I took this expression and made it into a number when X is two. X could be anything and I'll get different numbers here. Awesome, let's evaluate that. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna give it the smiley face. There it is, that was nice, very nice. Awesome, so same idea here. Check out this expression, it's four X plus seven Y. Well now I'm telling you, hey, I know what X is and I, I wanna know when Y is two and X is five, what is the answer? So. Just plug those bad boys in here. So it's four times X, but what is X? X in this case is five. And then it's plus seven times Y, but what is Y? Y is actually two. So first thing, you gotta write this step out. I wanna see it, plug these numbers in. So I'm plugging in the X, I'm plugging in the Y. That's the actual evaluating part. Then it's just a matter of cleaning up. So that was the plug. Now I gotta do the chug. Here we go, four times five is 20. Seven times two is 14. And can we add those to, oh my goodness, what is that? What is going, okay, so what is 20 plus 14? That is 34. So there it is evaluated, that is equals 34 when x is five and y is two. That was a little bit more work. That one kind of made me a little angry, the work I had to do there. I'm gonna give that, this one right here, they're like, ooh, that looked like a lot of work. It made me angry. Let's do the next one. Uh, so let's evaluate these. So I've got nine divided by y plus two. I know y is negative three, so let's plug it in. We're gonna plug it in. So it's gonna be nine divided by negative three plus two. And then just a matter of that, let's clean it up here. So what is nine divided by negative three? It is actually negative three. Nine divided by three is three, and it's positive divided by negative, plus that two. And what is negative three plus two? It is one. Rock and roll on that, very, very nice. I'm gonna give that, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's Mr. Kelly. That's like the creepy emoji right there. We've got happy, we've got wow, we've got sad, and we've got creepy. I'm gonna give this the creepy one because of that fraction and the negative. Look at the way he looks at that one. That is definitely creepy, uh, awesome, very nice. And let's go here into the next set, the very last one. Check this out. Uh, I've got a couple, 4m plus 1 plus 4m plus 6. See how I've got m and m, oh, which is the candy, m and m. And you can combine like terms if you want. So some people want to clean this up before they start. I don't care either way. What I would do is say, hey, wherever there's an m, I'm going to replace it with 4. So let's do it that way. So m, so it's 4m, so it's 4 times 4, plus 1, plus 4 times m, which is 4, plus that 6. So that's great. Some people right off the bat maybe would have combined them, and we can show you that in here in a second. Now let's just clean this up. Remember, I gotta multiply first. There's a lot going on here. So four times four is 16, plus the one, plus four times four is 16, plus the six. So now it's just a big fat addition problem. So we'll go left to right here. 16 plus one is 17, plus 16 plus six. And then I'm gonna say 17 plus 16 is 33, plus six. And then I'm gonna say 33 plus six is 39. Holy cow. That was a lot of steps. I'm gonna give that the wow. Wow, look at that, that was a lot of steps. If you don't like all those steps, right off the bat, we could have combined like terms. So you don't have to write this down, but maybe you like this method. 4m plus 4m is 8m, you could do this. 
and then you could say 1 plus 6 is 7. This may have been a much easier expression to evaluate because you're just plugging in the M once and you get 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 7 is 39. You'll get the same answer either way. So I don't care if you want to clean it up first um, or if you want to just plug it in and work on it. Awesome. That is it, right? That is the key to evaluation. So why do we do that? Well, let's tie back into expressions. Remember where we were writing expressions, and actually I stole this problem from myself uh, earlier in the earlier section. If I've got a large bucket of popcorn that costs $4, you buy B buckets of popcorn plus $6 in candy, how much did you spend? So we'd like to write these expressions to model real life situations. So I'm spending $4 per bucket. So it's $4 each bucket. So it's 4B plus $6 on candy. So this shows how much I buy. I don't know how many buckets I buy. This expression will represent that. Check out Mr. Sullivan down here. Dude, he is enjoying his large bucket of popcorn at the, at the theater right there. Very impressive. Uh, that face could be an emoji. Holy cow, the large bucket of popcorn emoji. Um, so how do we evaluate the expression? So if this is my expression right here, how much would uh, I spend if I bought three buckets? So now I know what? I know B is three. So I actually know what B is. So use your expression. It's going to be 4B or 4 times 3 plus 6. Awesome. There it is. So can I, I plugged it in. Can I chug along and get the answer? Sure. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 6. What is that going to cost me? $18. Boom. There it is. So if I buy three buckets, $18. Check out part B though. What if I buy five buckets? So now what does that mean? Now it means B is five. So in this case, it's going to be four times five plus six. Rock and roll. So I plug that in. Can I solve that? Sure. What's four times five? 20 plus the six. If I buy five buckets, I'm looking at $26. Uh, that I'm going to spend on popcorn and candy there. Um, can we get Mr. Sullivan out of the way? That face is kind of creeping me out. Peace out, Mr. Sullivan. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. So how much would I spend if I bought 10 buckets? So now what is B? B is 10. And I'm going to use the same thing, 4 times B. So you're going to be a pro. After you plug it in a couple times, you're really going to be good at that expression. So here's some possible answers. 4 times 10 is 40 plus 6. This will be $46 on popcorn and candy. So I evaluated three different times if B was three, if B was five, if B was 10. So a couple different Bs there. I didn't know which one it's going to be. Oh, awesome. So we are going to write and evaluate. So fun. I love it. We're getting some good stuff going on. Here's the finale. Let's wrap it up here. Uh, are these equivalent? So are these the same thing? So uh, they will be if you can find the right x. So I've got 4x minus 5. I want to know when does 4x minus 5 equal 11? What makes this true? So is it true if x equals 2? So it's multiple choice here. I'm going to pick one of these. So if I do plug and chug with 2, is it going to give me the right answer? So let's try it. Is 4 times 2 minus 5, does that equal 11? So uh, 4 times 2 is what, 8? Minus the 5, is that 11? E, not looking good. 8 minus 5 is 3. Is 3 11? No, I need a no emoji. No way. That is not it. So this is not true. 3 does not equal 11. So I can cross this off. Try the next one. Let's try if x is 3. So is, let's go back to my equation here. Whoopsh, is 4 times 3 minus 5 11? And let's plug and chug. So 4 times 3 is 12. Is 12 minus 5 11? Not looking good again uh, because 12 minus 5 is 7. This is not true. This is also a no. Huge bummer. Running out of room here. I hope it's coming up shortly. So that's gone. So let's try 4. I'm going to write down here if that's cool. Is 4, if x is 4, so it would be 4 times 4 minus 5 equals 11. Is this one going to pan out for me? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 5. Ooh, it looks promising. What is 16 minus 5? It is 11. Yes, this one is the true one. There he is. Uh, that is a terrible happy emoji, but I'm drawing it. This is the right answer here. So what does that mean? C is my right answer here. If you want to check uh, letter D, you can't, but 4 is the one that makes it true, so 5 is not going to work. If you want to prove it, you can, but I'm pretty happy when you get that yes right there and you're good to go. That's it. That's Evaluate Expressions. Make sure you rock and roll in the practice and grade your work. Uh, make sure everything looks good. If you need extra help, ask your teacher or do the corrective assignment. Good luck on the master check. Peace out.